Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Tyler Royale and these are my girls. Hey! And this is my girl talk and today we're going to be talking about love, hot topics, dating, and being made in Atlanta. Everybody introduce yourself. Oh, hey, okay, I'm May, and I'm Tyler's friend. <laughs> hey guys, I'm May, I'm model, and me and Tyler have been friends since the eighth grade. That's my bestie. We met in, I think, computer science class, or no, I think we met in chorus, chorus and then class. we got close in computer science class. Yes, yes. and we've been close ever since, you know what I'm saying? I'm Tyler, the other Tyler, <laughs> aka Slim Bitch, aka the slimmest of them all. You feel me? Um, I'm a model as well, and I actually met Tyler for the first time in, I think, I was in eighth grade and you were in seventh, and I met you in the hallway. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Bro. And somebody we know introduced us. Really? Because you used to date them, and we met in the hallway. And then, what? like, from there, like, we just never spoke again until now. I know it was so weird because we both were named Tyler. Both Capricorns. Both Capricorns. And I don't know, but I'm so glad that we reconnected. <laughs> I'm not right. right. No, you know? That was great. <laughs> that was great. Okay, I'm Sid. Um, I'm a business owner. I have a women's clothing boutique. Um, I met Tyler, what, like? We met on some. On some mutual friends yeah. type shit. I just used to see you around and think you're so pretty and stylish and dope. Thank you. And we followed each other on Instagram for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And then we just started linking up. Got to I know think, each other. Yeah, we, one day we at the blue, we just like, let's just link. Like, you're pretty, I'm pretty. Exactly. We both are have the same interests, exactly. fashion, exactly. you know? And we're all earth signs, guys. So, literally, that's Jay in the back. That's Jay in the back. <laughs> and <laughs> yes, we're all earth signs. I don't know why, but I just attract earth signs. I love earth sign girls. And we just vibe the most, so. Men? <laughs> yeah, okay, let's get into some mm. things. Let's get into some things. I've never been nowhere else in the world that had food like Atlanta. I feel like just Atlanta period has the best food, no matter where you go. Because it has everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, the and wings. I mean, we know how to season our shit. I've lived in New Seasoning. York. Seasoning. Them niggas don't season shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Down yeah. south, we know how to really LA. get the seasoning in the food. You know what I'm saying? We do be cooking. I'll do that. Yes. Anything y'all think, like anything else y'all think Atlanta's known for? I feel like we touched on it because anywhere I go, that's like, like the music. Those are the things people touch on. Mm -hmm. like, music. Oh, if you want to, how's the strip club? You been to Magic? Right. Oh, the niggas, they don't know. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> better be careful. Oh, they, yeah. <laughs> but I feel like. Like what you said, like opportunity. Mm -hmm. Atlanta is the best place, and it's crazy. Like everybody is moving to Atlanta yeah. to, to start, start from everywhere. start start an OnlyFans, start a business. But you know what? I can't knock nobody's hustle because this is the best place. You want to sell bundles out your trunk? You do it, sis, and you're gonna go the fuck up. You're gonna make that money. You're gonna go the fuck up. You're you're gonna, you know what I'm saying? So yes. Come to Atlanta for opportunities. Don't come to Atlanta. Come to Atlanta, you know? Don't come. You don't have a job? Just come to Atlanta. Ah. And, okay, so Baby J, AKA Tasting Party, Food Tasting Party, Cater is amazing, amazing food. Mm. Y'all follow her, okay? It's up. And it's stuck. Let's get into some more things, okay? Let me shuffle my cards. <laughs> it's the shuffle for me. Okay, so describe dating in it. I already told you, you might as well hope that you're not below. And I just feel like. Sydney, <laughs> describe dating in it. I hate these names. <laughs> I feel like. Doesn't exist. Dating? <laughs> what is that? I mean, I guess dating exists. Here. It do, but it's, it's, it's got it's hell. Style. It's really hell. <laughs> What's the craziest date y'all been on here in Atlanta? Like, I'm gonna be real. I don't like dating in Atlanta. Like, one, I don't feel like there's much to do in Atlanta. And then the, the niggas, the way they approach you, it's like they don't have no type of game. Like, they just expect you to just like hop on it. Like, if I approach you, you need to be with right. me. Like, nah, like, I don't know. Niggas right. just want to link. Yeah, I'm gonna take you on a date. Don't mm -hmm. ask me to fucking ask. What is that? <laughs> First of all, I'm not into a nano nigga. Second of all, that would make me just block you on everything. 
Don't ask me if I want to match. <laughs> the fuck? You probably might not. Eat. Probably you might be better than yours. That's what I'm saying. Everybody got this side. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like I'm so tired of this shit. Y'all really not even having it for real. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Niggas still want to get the Zooming in on their weed, they can be excited. That's what I'm saying. If you put a flashlight on that shit, please that, stop. Please that's stop. regular. That's some dirty. <laughs> that's regular. It's about mm-hmm. flex. Okay. It'd be the flex for me. It'd be the flex. I feel like dating in Atlanta, like you never, I feel like people are living double lives. Like you never know yeah. who you're really knowing. Like, cause niggas, I feel like they put on such a flex here. Like they don't have the cars, they don't have the, the jewelry. Jewelry be fake as hell though. Mm-hmm. And then you just eating it up. And then you really realize this nigga got like six baby mamas. <laughs> living no water. real car, no type of credit. No credit. Nothing. No sense. Nothing. And now he want to depend on you for shit. Chilling no, niggas be homeless. They be homeless. They do be homeless. They be homeless. So I would, I would just, I would just <laughs> tell all my ladies moving to Atlanta, like, take it really slow with these niggas. Like, a lot of these niggas be scammers. Don't really be who they say they are. Be fake ass rappers. Like, <laughs> just really do your research. And don't even scam dude. <laughs> don't let Instagram <laughs> fool you, honey. <laughs> These niggas wearing their friends' clothes. Get you a nigga from out of town that moves here. That's what mm-hmm. you do. Just because you see him posted up in the studio, it don't mean nothing. He with his homeboy and he's probably Baby, they ain't rapping about nothing. Rapping <laughs> about not a thing. He's telling me five. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. Nigga don't even sell a pound. He tell you a three five. Here and there. <laughs> no, nigga <laughs> tell you he only sell pounds, but then you be like, fuck me on three five. He's, and then now he wanna. Ooh, kimchi, baby. I thought you were in self mm. Okay. <laughs> now let's talk about let's talk about relationships. Ooh. Let's talk about relationships. Don't do it. <laughs> talk about relationships. Now I'm, I'm gonna say I'm in a relationship and I love it. It has its ups and downs, but overall I'm happy. But you know, nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect. And I know in the past. I've really been heartbroken before. So I'm so guarded as a, a, a person that I feel like, I don't know, like, I, I just, it's hard for me to trust people. It's really hard for me to trust people. But, um, yeah, what, do y- what are y'all thoughts on that? Trust Have y'all been heartbroken before? Of course. Of course. Tell me about I feel like everybody has. But it's kind of like high school shit. <laughs> but yeah, the nigga I was dating, he gonna fucking cheat on me. Mm-mm. Not cheat, girl. It was that birthday, and I bet you it was a bitch who was ugly. It was. And so bald, and fucking ain't got no edges or nothing. She ain't got none. She ain't got none of that. Yeah. But that was my first heartbreak, <laughs> and ever since I hated men. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. I don't really fuck really? with niggas. Yeah, I don't. Like I'll date, but like. Y'all wanna know something? I hate niggas, so I'm scared. I feel like this, it's, this, it's this one guy that you know who I'm talking about. I, I won't say his name. It's this one guy who turned my world upside down. Like, this nigga told me his mama died. Now I wanna know. Y'all, this nigga, he told me his mama died for years, and I'm thinking. And his grandma. No, he didn't say his grandma, he said his brothers. He said. I don't know. He said, he said so many his people mama, died. His bro- his, and his mama. He said he people died, so I'm crying and shit. Like, why, why, why is, why are you crying? Why do you not feel away? Because he really not dead. And one day, like, we, we stopped talking whatever because I realized he was fucking crazy. But I believe that his mom was like, you know, not here anymore. So I text him on Mother's Day, like, hey, you know, I know today is like really like you know hard for you or whatever. I just want to like send you good good energy. Why does the man gonna text me what? Like question mark? He couldn't even remember that. <laughs> he couldn't remember. Yeah, he, he forgot a lot. <laughs> the big, you forgot. So, that you told me on. so me being dumb, I meet back up with him, knowing that like, damn, he's probably lying. He's been lying to me this whole time. So I asked him flat out, "Is your mom dead?" He was like, "Nah." Why the hell did he say that? I said, "Why did you just randomly lie to me?" And I think he want to put me in a vulnerable place to like take yeah. advantage of me Yo, by man. using like, his, like me having sympathy for him. So I was like, so basically you was trying to make me have sympathy for you so I could keep like fucking you. Mm-hmm. 
Get out of here. You're it's fucking amazing. delusional. You're crazy. Going to hell and that just goes oh. to show niggas will Nasty. do anything. <laughs> niggas will do anything <laughs> for some coochie. That's sad. You're going to lie in your mama's. Your right. whole mama. Do your mama know you lying? That's what I'm saying. She know you I don't believe you. Yeah, that come out of my dad. Especially if you don't put it on no. Dad, I put that on my grandma. I put that on my mama. Bitch, you're lying. And stop lying. Stop doing that. Too. Yes. <laughs> like, that, and and that. You know, that's not, do it. And you know the crazy, the crazy part about it is, I still was heartbroken after that. Mm. You know how like I you still a nigga be wrong, but you still be feeling sad. Yeah. How you? Um. Girl, I was wrong. I was like, that's I met him. <laughs> Like, not too long ago. I met him when I was like maybe 19. I got a BBL and everything. And then we fucked with each other after the fact. I'm thinking, okay, he finna treat me different. Mind, mind you, BBL does not do nothing. Like, it does nothing. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. But I'm thinking he finna come different. You know, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> And <laughs> I hate that. Like, <laughs> no, but no. I really thought my BBL was just gonna change my life, but it didn't. It actually made it like a little crazier with the niggas. Okay. But anyway, so yeah, I, we was fucking with each other for like three years on and on. Yeah. And I was like maybe 21 when I stopped fucking with him. And it took everything. Like I had to block him on everything. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. And I was just like, why am I heartbroken? And I had to go in the studio. It took me time to just make music and get it out about this nigga. I'll never think you said anything. For real? Like, no, I'm for real. I just like, what the speaking fuck? Of, speaking of music, let me play y'all this song, right? Yeah. I made this song probably after I was just like getting over it. Mm-hmm. Let me play it for y'all. It's okay. <laughs> I want more of that. I'm gonna slow down. Listen to the lyrics of this, right? I got a question After all this time, like, do you miss me? When it's dark and cold and it get misty Could have had it all, you wasn't listening He wasn't listening He could have had it all But fuck him Let's see what him Please, fuck him Go outside, I used to keep you warm If the storm outside it's Something in the water, something that you're drinking You ain't had to leave me, needed you to leave me I was sending a message, you ain't still receive me Now you say you need me, now you say you need me yeah. Act like me and you ain't never had no past life Now you're crawling back to get some act right don't call me, baby. Hold on, okay, let's just pause that. That was a little careful. <laughs> but, um, mm. let, let me just, let me just say something, right? Because I'm a little drunk. But I'm feeling, I'm trying to, 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 i am trying to i am trying to i am trying to i it's the same track. Just do that nigga how you think you're gonna do you. Bruh, you gotta stay. Ignore that nigga. That's what you do. Them calls, them tears, them everything, them paragraphs, don't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Stay from the camera. What? Nay, yeah, say what you said. She's crazy. I said I'm gonna fuck his best friend and make yes <laughs> Would you fuck your, if the nigga did you wrong, would you fuck his best friend? Nine times out of ten, their best friends don't even be cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking y'all. No. Y'all want to know something? This might be TMI. I did that before. Really? Was it worth it? It was not. But it was like, damn, I really don't give a fuck. Right. But I feel like at the same I don't. time. When a nigga, when you fuck with a nigga best friend, the nigga that you fuck with know that you fuck with his best friend because them niggas is talking to each other. Yeah. So don't yeah. let these niggas get it missed. Yeah. Ooh, they talk, this these much. niggas is talking. Niggas yeah. talk more than bitches these days. Shout out to Drake. If you watch this <laughs> But the nigga was hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta. <laughs> I want the last damn drop, alright? 
Sometimes you gotta show a nigga, like, I really don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? Boy, fuck you. That's not the best way to handle it. Because I was very young when I did that. That wasn't the best way to handle it. It kind of made me look a certain way. But, you know, who gives a fuck? He was probably the end of the day. Your friend had a bigger dick than you. So. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, guys. Let's get into it. How do you feel about girls moving to Atlanta to pursue a lifestyle? I already told you, I'm oh, fine. Stay the fuck home. There's too many people coming to Atlanta. Everybody can't just keep coming to Atlanta. Find somewhere else to go. But it is a good thing. I mean, I respect the hustle. I'm not hating on nobody's hustle. I'm just saying, too many of y'all keep coming to Atlanta. It's really not that exciting out here. I feel like if it's for beauty opportunities, like yeah, like work opportunities, right? Yeah, I say come. Like, um, even then, like honestly, I really don't feel like Atlanta has much to offer. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, people come here, they film and everything. Like, yeah, they shoot videos, but I mean, like they shoot movies, but that's it. Like, there's no skill behind it. Like, we're yeah. just a hub for you to shoot what you need to shoot off. You know Everybody is do that I say this. <laughs> I would tell these girls, baby girl, don't burn yourself out. Yeah, don't come here to trick. Just don't. Like, Just don't. don't. And don't expect this lifestyle. Don't chase this because you don't know what those girls are actually going through to obtain those things. Yeah. Don't fuck for that bag. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Pursue your career. Do what you need to do and be independent. Yeah. Don't come down here and be, you know, like trying to fuck on the bus with these niggas and the <laughs> rappers and shit and follow them to the studio. Like, don't do, don't live that lifestyle. Get because you're not, it's not going to end up nowhere. Like, you're very disposable at that point. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, how I feel like a lot of people get misconstrued about Atlanta. Is they come down here and they just expect shit to just change like this. Mm -hmm. they, they expect niggas just bonding this because... Mm -hmm. That's what they rap about in the yeah. songs, but in reality, <laughs> that's not how it is for real. No. They These niggas ain't up. shit. <laughs> These girls, they be so gullible. They be so ready to bust it wide open and just green as hell. Very green. And I would just say, don't burn yourself out <laughs> trying to make a name for yourself in the city and live this lifestyle that, you know, it's not even real. What do you think about the city? I agree. I mean, I feel like it's one thing to come here and actually be on some business shit. Right. But don't come here like trying to chase a lifestyle. Just come here with a it's good ambitious. vision. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. for yourself. I agree. Don't believe with don't believe the hype. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. Don't believe the hype. The people like with the lifestyle is not really living that life. It's niggas with Gucci on, Fendi, <laughs> Gucci Prada, sleeping on their Prada couch. Three months behind on rent. Shit about to get put out next week. <laughs> They're not okay. even three months behind. But got 100K on Instagram. They is not in their house. They, they don't have a house. They yeah. But they ready to flex and they borrow jewelry from the zoo. With two baby moms. And with don't feel, and, and I would tell yeah, people, mm, and I would tell girls, I would tell, <laughs> Tell girls, don't don't be so. Cause I had this issue with myself, you know. Don't be so pressed to uphold this lifestyle that you see on Instagram. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because none of this stuff. Well, most of it is not even real. It's, it's so easy to get don't on. Don't compare Instagram. yourself to others. You and know. Make shit look good. Mm -hmm. That's easy. All you gotta do is put a little makeup on. Go stand in front of the fucking. But shots of Buckhead and make it just look like life is gravy. Yeah, but you know how you know how mentally straining yeah. it is to no, go on no. Instagram every day and see like these girls living Perfect. these lifestyles, living these picture perfect lifestyles and you know, we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Yeah, yeah. they don't post about the bad. They don't post right. about the bad. People don't right. post about yeah. what they like, what's, what's right. going on. Exactly. Rainbows and unicorns. So you know, just I would I would just advise everybody to be yourself, you know? Everything is not what it seems. Everything is not what it seems. And don't just move here blind. Like, you know, like, don't just come here. You ain't got no <laughs> nothing. Because for one, Atlanta's not cheap. So just it's come in here. Prices is 
Yeah, it's not as cheap as people think it is. Like, let me tell you, cheaper from like other places, but it's still gonna be something. Buckhead, Buckhead, <laughs> Midtown, baby. You're in New York at that point. Okay. Pretty so, much. It's a lot. Get your funds right before you come in here. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so speaking on that, like, what are y'all thoughts on OnlyFans? How do y'all feel about that? I support it. I said, support it. Make your money, don't let it make you. Yeah. As long as the money ain't making you, and you finessing these niggas and not letting them finesse you, yeah. do your sure. thing, baby. And make sure it's on brand. Everything that you do, make sure it's on brand. So on you, brand. If you explain, gonna decide explain, that, explain on brand. Concept. On brand. Explain it on brand. On brand is, if you have a brand, for me, I'm a mom. So I'm not going to be like, hey, let me go make the OnlyFans. I could probably cash out on OnlyFans, but... Do I want the people that I'm that I want to reach out to, like Target, uh, fucking CoverGirl, Nars, like all these big companies, to see me fucking shaking my ass, bent over with my coochie spread wide out? <laughs> no, they're not gonna book me. Like, what you do? Make sure that when you move stuff, you move with intent. Like, it makes no sense to do something that does not make sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just. So basically, that's why some people be doing shit that don't make sense. Yeah, on brand is like knowing, okay, this is your movement and not not detouring from that. Yeah, no, not detouring yeah. what you stand on and you know how you wanna how you wanna be viewed in the public. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be strict on your values. If you mm-hmm. have values, like, you know, go with that. Don't let nobody try to get you off track. Right, because a lot of people will try to sell you a dream. Atlanta is a place where the niggas, yeah. photog- and people try to sell you the fucking They'll talk yeah. that talk, like, let me shoot you, then you get to the shoot, they like, all right, take your take your bra off and cover up your nipples, and I, I want to see you with your legs <laughs> wide open, like, damn, bro, and you the wanna- shoot come out, you like, damn, you but you okay? Blink twice if you is okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's not worth it, but you pay the money. It be some of the, I'm sorry. I know this is wrong. It be some of the creepiest niggas that be shooting girls naked and shit. And then they be coming out looking like, they edited that shit on Pixar. (laughs) (laughs) They're not artists. Like, a lot of these niggas in the they don't be artists. They don't. They just never had y'all on the side. Can we have a little story time? Y'all. Okay, so this guy reached out to me. Like, let me style you, whatever. I make custom clothes, custom oh, pieces. Yeah. And so one day I came and I, he was like, yeah, you know, let me just get your measurements, whatever. I style you. So I went with my cousin and it was both of us. He was cool. We smoked with him, chill. Not really chill. We just kind of dipped after the fact. But um, then he texted me and was like, hey, I didn't get a measurement of something. And I was like, damn, okay, um, can we, he was like, can you come right now? So I'm like, okay, he was cool the first time, so I'm just going off of that. I pull up, he like, yeah, you want a, you want a bottle of wine? The whole bottle though? Like, let, yeah, I'm, I'm about to get a bottle of wine, let's go to the liquor store. So I'm just like, but we gonna for go yourself? To the liquor store to get wine? Why for yourself, so I'm being nice, you know, he doing some free shit, you know. But I, I was like, oh, I don't know. And so he gets the wine, he's like, you want some? I said, I don't drink. <laughs> He's like, okay, She's wild. cool, <laughs> clearly. And then he's like, you want to smoke? I was like, actually, I have a long drive home. Can we get the measurements? He was like, yeah, cool. Put some on the movie on Netflix. Up. He's like, let's just chill. Let's talk for a moment. So I'm just like sitting down, and he puts his arm around me. And that's when I was like, okay, they always look. do that shit. I said, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is, what is this? this? Excuse me, sir. He laughed. Like, what you mean? What is this? I said, uh, are you trying to come on to me? What is this? <laughs> Elaborate on why the fuck your arm is like, I mean, he was, I, he was like, I mean, it ain't even like that. I said, okay, let, let, me, it let me, let me just, let me just find my way to the door. Bye. <laughs> and that's how it is. I think every girl in Atlanta who is an aspiring model or singer, artist, whatever, Creative. who has to work with men, they all have that same story. Man. They all have that same story. Be careful. But you know, some of these bitches fall prey to it though. Like, ooh, what he said, he going to do free clothes. He got like 100K on Instagram. And if he do the free clothes and I posted it, then I'm going to go up. Bitch, you're not going to go up. You're going to get five five followers. (laughs) You're going to get five followers. If you got to do something that goes against you, don't (laughs) do it. I mean, unless that's what you want to do. I mean, I'm all for it. If you want to do it, then do it, shit. I mean, live your life. Five people see how you want it. But there's nothing wrong. (laughs) There's nothing wrong with OnlyFans. 
No, there's nothing wrong with OnlyFans. Copy pussy, and get you your money. You can even do OnlyFans without even showing, showing your, your, your identity. You yeah. can just do that shit. And, and you, you can pop your pussy with a whole mask on. And OnlyFans was not, it's not even made for Let like sex it. workers. It could be OnlyFans. You to make OnlyFans. So if you, want, if you make wigs and you want to make an OnlyFans, you want to charge people for the wigs that you make. If you make food and you're trying to teach people how to cook, you can make an OnlyFans. If you make a fucking. If you do photography and you want to teach people how to edit, you can make right. it. Right, it's edit. just yeah. not for popping pussy. It's but not, even yeah. if you be popping pussy, you know what I mean? Who does see you? But if that's what you love to do, do it. More power to you. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you like to do, I ain't just like, oh God. Okay. If you like to shake it, I might subscribe. What's up? <laughs> 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 I'm just paying you to do that. Okay. So guys, I want to talk about my album. Okay. Um, I've been working on this album for like two plus years now. Ooh. I feel like it's ready to release. You know, I'm very nervous about it. It's very, um, what I would say, it's very transparent in my feelings, my life, my experiences. Um, what are y'all questions for me around it? Like, what do y'all want to know? I know I play y'all some of the music. But I'm very like you know like shy about it and then reserved. But I think it's I think it's time like the world knows you know Tyler Royale and like what I have to offer. Right. So like yeah. I have a question. Okay. So is it like I guess the album as far as like growth throughout your whole like adult years or is it like some recent inspiration <clears throat> from it? Or like a sequence of events like what inspired that i mean nothing like in particular it's just kind of like my day-to-day -day life yeah. and if i feel inspired yeah. like i would go to the studio shout out to mike and willie yeah. um remix and um that's <laughs> next shout out to mike and willie and remix <laughs> yeah Uncle William, William, William. <laughs> shout, <laughs> shout out, no, but really, 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 no, but shout out to my whole, my whole production team. For real. For real. Hey, y'all are. Because for real. they really molded me as an artist. No, for, for real. real. For real. Y'all want to hear something funny? When Tyler first met Mikey and Uncle Willie, she was so nervous. She was so nervous that day. We was on the way to the, to the uh, fucking studio, and Tyler was like, what if they're like, I don't know what the fuck, fuck I was thinking. Cause this girl don't this music industry. We get to the studio and this is the coolest. The coolest guys in the world, like coolest niggas in the world. Coolest. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like for real. Shout out to my whole, my whole production team that we really went in on this album. But to like answer your question, I feel like. Really, it was this album was showing like my growth yeah. as an artist because I released the first EP and that I feel like it was it was fun, you know. It was about and it was in the time when I was still a teenager. Yeah. But stepping into like being you know a grown woman, having responsibility, yeah. you know, dating a nigga, living with a nigga, right. like we live together and shit. I feel like that really showed the grown inside of me. So okay. this is definitely like my grown and sexy. Okay. For real, for real. So. Oh, um, yeah. question. Yes. So, out of the entire album, which song would you say gets you like the most emotional, or the one that like you're attached to, and why? Oh, that's a good question. Ooh. Ooh. Or that you want people to really like. I think. Us. I think "Find My Way" honestly gets me so Ooh. emotional. I mean, it's called "Find My Way," and it's literally about me just finding myself. And you know, I'm still not even knowing myself completely, yeah, yeah. but getting a better grip on who I am as a person. Um, I think me as a teenager and going through like a very traumatic experiences, I went through a lot of depression, and lots of ups and downs, and me like you know like just facing rejection in the industry and just with guys and you know that can take a toll and really discourage a person. So. It's just maybe it's just like a, a song that I really, really confide in. Like it's it's just I don't know. It's just like my little diary. I love that song for real. Yeah. I love the whole album. Honestly. And it's 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 like it's about up, up upliftment and just like me getting back to who I am as a person. Finding my way, you know? I like that. 
Just being in the studio and like watching the process of just how the fucking the song go from like nothing, a fucking tick to like the just the whole lyrics and stuff is like crazy. And then just you do see the growth from when you would pull up in the car like boom, you pull up. Oh my god, I made that song in eighth grade. Y'all look up Tyler's video on YouTube. Stop it. What's what's (laughs) the song? Um, Made for me. Made for me. Yo. But it was really made for but me. But no, but no, and, and when the song, when you listen to that song made for me, and then you listen to the music that she makes now, it's just like the growth and like the, like really it does tell the story of your life. And this shit really was made for you, and it's like manifestation. Everything yeah. is being manifested. Yeah. It's like you living out your purpose, and I think yeah. that that's super fun. Thank so. you. Yeah, cool. So guys, with that being said, mm-hmm. we're about to wrap up our girl talk. Thank you. Thank you, Wrap guys. It up, yes. <laughs> My girl for giving a little, you know, insight on our our lives. And, you know how it feels to be, you know, made in Atlanta. Um, you don't want to say. Go get the album when it's out. It's dropping very soon. There's no specific date. Stay tuned. Um, Stay I'm tuned. Expect, I'm I'm probably it's expecting to drop like in this in the spring. Y'all yes. better be ready. And so y'all, y'all better be ready. To and y'all better go check out her SoundCloud. Me? And listen to all them songs on there. Because I mean, all y'all, when the first concert to come, y'all better go to lyrics. Meanwhile, y'all can go stream my music that's out. Okay? Because okay? going on on, I'm finna do a true purse. No, for real. It's finna do a true purse. For real. So y'all better hop on the Don't way. sleep on the hit. Right now. Don't, don't sleep, sleep on, on the hit. hit. Don't sleep on my sis, period. Because it's up. And it's Wake up. Here. And Wake that's up. just what it is. <laughs> and my cup is empty, so. <laughs> okay, guys. You want to say something to the camera? You want to say something? This is my baby. I gave birth to her. She was six <laughs> pounds and nine ounces. It was a long labor. Mm-hmm. But all the aunties were there, and I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm her favorite. Her daddy was a dog. Uh-uh. I'm her favorite. <laughs> He's a dog. Yeah, she was chilling with me. <laughs> Auntie Kimmy, that's because I'm fucking drunk. Kimmy, really nice. to be on the floor. I'm a drunk. Kimmy loves me. But basically, guys, thank you so much for this. Um, thank you for watching our girl talk. And yes, the album Made in Atlanta will be releasing very soon in stores near you. So stay tuned. Follow <laughs> Kimmy on Instagram. She a city girl. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs>